Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I think this is gonna be a vlog as well because this mukbang portion is probably not gonna be long enough for a video. Um, so yeah, I have my Chick-fil-A here. I guess I'm just going to talk to you while I eat it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Again, I don't support Chick-fil-A, but I just did because their chicken biscuits are just so good. And I go over this every time, but I normally had this like at least once a quarter because my company that I work for always has these meetings and they always provide Chick-fil-A. And it's like my treat. And since we're not in the office anymore, that means no treats for Alex. So I have to get it myself. So sad, but anyway, yeah. Don't really like what Chick-fil-A stands for because clearly I come from a very progressive family. If you guys have been around here, I have two moms, I'm adopted. That's the little spiel. But, um, oh my gosh, this thing is so hot. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like wait a little bit to eat this because it's like burning. But I must say Chick-fil-A has the best biscuits. Also, McDonald's has the best biscuits. I've had homemade biscuits before and they're just not as good. I like the creamy, like milky, buttery flavor in biscuits. If a biscuit is too dry, it's just not it. But I'm very picky when it comes to the biscuits. So a question I got asked Okay, this is still like way too hot to eat, so I guess I'll just like talk to you while letting this cool a little bit. A question that I recently got asked on my Instagram by one of my viewers is like, am I ashamed to be adopted? Um, I am definitely not because I kind of look at it, and I think I've said this in many other videos, but I always like look at the bright side. Like it could definitely be worse. Like I could be living in a different country right now, like with different people. I don't know. I personally like my life. I guess if it all depends on your experience. If you did not have a good experience, like let's say someone's adoptive parents or people, their family that chose to go the adoption route like abused you or like you've had some really bad experiences clearly you might think a different way about being adopted or just you might be a little bit more insecure maybe your peers the way you've grown up it could be definitely a lot to handle on a child and like it's all about your experience and how you as a person take it let's see how hot this is I also think she asked me when was I adopted I was adopted while I was one so I don't remember anything I think maybe it could be hard if a child did remember what their life um, was like like maybe if you got adopted at a later date it would be harder mm. this is so good also if you kind of see here this little blue thing that's a Christmas present I still have to give to my friend. I haven't seen her in like a long time, so. She might watch this video, so I can't say what it is. I feel like you guys like seeing the food. At least, I don't know. So that's why I'm holding this. But I did want to show you what I got. I'm also here at 10 o'clock because really early this morning, I had an event to go film. So I had Starbucks. I was gonna start the vlog there, but then I was like, nah. And I had a lot of stuff to like carry and stuff. This is my Starbucks cup. Oh, it's empty. So I had that. And then I also bought a cute new tumbler. It looks like my other one that I got. I'll show you guys just in case you haven't been around the channel for a while. Mmm. Oh yeah, and by the way, you probably noticed this, but I don't eat sandwiches like normal people because I'm just really picky. So I eat the chicken part and then the bake and then the bagel. I do like bagels. Then the biscuit part because I'm just really picky and I don't like mixing things. And I use a napkin too because it's like so greasy. And like sometimes I just don't like getting it on my hands. So good. Also, I kind of wanted to talk about like motivation. I feel like during this time, I'm like so unmotivated on YouTube. I don't know why. It's just every year around this time, it's like my 
motivation, creativity just lacks all together. I just don't know why. I think it's just like after Vlogmas and like January is just like the worst month for me, I feel like on YouTube. I just don't like it. So just one of those things. Let me know if you do YouTube or anything, if you feel that way as well. Cause I definitely get in a rut after the new year. Also, YouTube did their purge thing where they like get rid of inactive accounts. And I have like some serious mixed emotions. Yeah, I don't want inactive accounts, but then again, also I like seeing like any YouTuber likes to see their subscriber number like grow instead of like decrease. So I don't know. I just have some mixed emotions cause like I see both sides of it. I don't know, but like I lost like 50 subs. And even though in the grand scheme of things, a channel at my size now, it's not a lot, but like I always tell you guys, I'm still in the mindset of like have only having 2,000 subscribers, like or 10,000 for that matter. So on my mind, I see it as a bigger decrease. And I think the biggest thing that I can say from like a YouTuber big or small is like it's a little discouraging. And I know it's, it shouldn't be about the numbers and you shouldn't want inactive accounts but i'm just being i'm just keeping it real with you you know it could be a little discouraging but it is what it is like the people that genuinely watch my videos are the people that matter and support me and stuff so also one of you guys reached out to me on instagram and asked for a truth or drink and they want me to do it with my family i don't know if i'll do that maybe that's a good idea but like i don't know i really want to do it with my friend but I don't know when we're gonna get together or anything, so we'll see about that. I'm waiting for this package to come and it has the cutest little Pusheen sweater in it. So one of my favorite YouTubers, Manda31409, I will flat out say this, she's kind of weird. Like she's definitely herself. That's why I really like her and I really like watching her content. Anyway, like she, again, she's one of my favorites. So even though like I'm calling her weird, like She's like weird in like a cute way in a sense. But anyway, her username and her like name on YouTube is Manda31409. And I've been watching her since like, I wanna say 2013, 2014, my senior year of high school. And um, like, she's just like one of those consistent, you know, people I've always had. I, want, I would say in my life, but like in my YouTube life that I've just always watched. And like, she has pink hair and it's like, it's cool to like see her um like grow in a sense is that weird i don't know but she does these live sales and i watch them because they're like kind of entertaining and you kind of like build a a community with the other people in her live stream so there's this girl named like luna and this other girl named like sweet creep i think that's her name i don't know but there's like the same people so it's like kind of cool it's kind of like a little community and so i purchased something i purchased the Pus the pusheen sweatshirt on manda's live um i can't wait to get it i think i hope it's not too small it's a size small but it's like unisex so hopefully i'll be able to fit it and everything the sweatshirt slash shirt long sleeve shirt i got that says merry christmas bitches on it it was so cute and i really liked it but that thing was like almost too small for me and i'm gonna tell you my boobs were like really squished down in that and that's why i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna like buy any more clothes because like the couple of things that i got from manda we're almost the same size but clearly i'm a little bit bigger so i have to like squeeze everything so that's why i like held off on the sweatshirt sweater pusheen thing i don't know i don't want it to be too small for me so i can't wait to get that hopefully i'll get that today and i can like put it in this vlog another thing i kind of want to complain about but i know it's like it's a need like it there's no changing this is shipping prices i swear i always forget about shipping prices and it's like oh yeah you have to add in shipping prices to me it's just kind of annoying i wish everything was factored in so i wish everything that like is online factors in the shipping so you just know exactly what you're paying i think that would just be a lot easier but anyway i'm almost done with my little biscuit part hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video 
and I guess on to whatever I film next. Okay, so this is the cup I got and I really like it. I have one just like it, obviously. So if I didn't like it, I definitely wouldn't have purchased it again. But I'm thinking about selling my BKR or Beaker water bottle because I have just come to the conclusion I like drinking out of a straw. I know that sounds kind of like bougie and picky, but um, I don't mind drinking out of water bottles like that like just a plastic one like that's fine but like when it comes to reusable things i don't know i just really like the straw this is so big so i don't have to keep refilling it i had a couple other tumblers and they were like shorter and i would always have to keep refilling them up and that got really annoying so i absolutely love this i highly recommend this i don't like the straws that are curved so this is definitely like just such a perfect cup it doesn't give a lot of condensation oh my gosh i just almost dropped it because as you can see in the glass kind of there it doesn't there's like double layer so your drink's not gonna get all like condensation-y i mean your ice will melt over time but it doesn't melt like super fast again because of like the two layers so i don't know this is definitely not sponsored or anything i'm just a really big fan of this size and design and everything so i don't know i just want to show you my little purchase i made while i was out and also i have like all my camera gear down here and then this is the present i was talking to you guys about and then this is such a cute little um sweater this is probably like my warmest sweater obviously it's made out of this faux fur and i got it from luca and gray but honestly i saw something on zaffle that was exactly like this for like half of the price so i was like oh my gosh i kind of got ripped off but whatever it's a cute little thing okay so i just thought i would share with you guys that i'm home i filmed a couple of videos trying to be productive i know i said i was like really unmotivated and stuff but curled the hair i feel like if i were to like go out a lot like to meetings or whatever i would curl my hair like this i don't know i feel like exactly who i'm supposed to be when i have my hair like this and it's just like it's just one of those things i try not to curl it like this a lot just because my hair has been through a lot like with bleaching like there's some hairs that are just like my hair is literally falling are breaking as you can see and that's why i try not to put a lot of heat on it but since i was filming some videos and i was just like in the mood and i really liked how my hair looked when i went out to lunch with my boss i was like might as well just curl it it doesn't take too long and I'm gonna treat myself to film some videos and do my hair like this hopefully i'll do it more it's just i want to be careful with like you know my hair and it breaking off and like putting heat on it and stuff but yeah, I think I'm going to eat now. I'm doing some laundry. So again, it's not that exciting. That's why I wanted to do that little mukbang portion of the video. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed reading my little diary video. I think it'll turn out kind of fun. Sherry's taking the last bite of the pizza because I forgot to vlog mine. We were so hungry, we would dived right in. I know. That's a little bit that's left. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day, it's Sunday, and I just wanted to kind of update this video. So basically I spent today and a little bit of yesterday night working on my video for Monday. I really hope you guys like it. It's reading my childhood diary. So if you haven't seen that, please go watch it because I really like how it turned out. I'm just going to work out. We are having a bonefish grill tonight. So I really want to try to remember to vlog that because I keep forgetting. Honestly, it's terrible. Yeah. So we're having that. And then I think I am going to start a new vlog tomorrow because we are taking down the christmas tree finally um yeah i'm just gonna get started working out i'm not gonna do a time lapse in this video because i'm gonna just include it in my recap on a friday just wanted to kind of say what i've been doing today it hasn't been much but it's still like i've still done some stuff that would be considered productive yeah i am so bloated i just feel so lethargic lethargic and especially when it's cold out, it's just like, I don't want to do anything. Okay, so this will be kind of fun for me to vlog for you guys. I'm going to make the hollandaise sauce because we're having broccoli with our meal and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to set up the camera here. Okay, so apparently this is really simple. So I'm going to fill this up with one cup of this half and half. One. Oh wait, it's not open. Wow, I'm smart. Sherry, you're kind of home early. Oh no, you're not home early. Okay. One cup. Oh yeah, by the way, Sherry's home, so that's what Fire we're talking fly. to. Yeah, she's 
Okay. Maybe the holidays? Yes. Okay. One cup of that. Then you pour this in. And then she said to stir it. Then we just put the butter in and turn it on. So I turned it on to like the medium setting and then you just stir it and you let the butter melt. And here we go, the finished hollandaise. When it starts popping, you know it's done. I'll say the vlog. Hi, vlog. Okay, so here is our dinner. I'm actually yeah. not forgetting to Would film you this. Take this away, Sherry, please. All right, so we're having bonefish, like I said. I'm having some salmon and broccoli. This is a really big dinner for us. Um, and then we have some bread here. Not the best choice, but it's so good. We have some cookies here. And we have some salad. So this is like a full on meal. And we for get $39.95. For $39.95. So you heard it. Such a good deal.